Hi and welcome to this video. We're going to be having a quick look at Documentation Insights and the Documentation Tool. Okay, let's start off with a new project. I'm just going to create a new console project, console application. And now it's good sense to have a separate unit for your business logic. So we're going to go and create a new unit. And in here we're going to have a new type called tfoo. And tfoo is going to have a property which is A. And we're going to have a property B. I'm just going to press Control Shift C to code complete. And we've now got our first part of our class written. Now, it's quite okay right at the moment because we know what A and B is going to be for. But when we return to this a little bit later, or we've got another member of the team looking at our code, we want to make it easy for them to understand what our properties are for how they're going to be used and so on. So a really handy way to do that is with documentation. Now Delphi developers and C++ developers have been used to code insight for a long time that tells you what the function is, what the parameters are and what can be passed through. Well it's really taken on to the next level now so if we go to tools, documentation insight, show documentation we get a window up that allows us to start documenting and we can see here this is for the tfoo b property which is where we're sat so to make it easy to type this in this is actually dockable so let's just drag it across to the left and if we use the push pin here to pin it out we can now click on tfoo as a class and we can leave a message here about the class so this is our base class for all T foo objects. And we can put a message here about um, T foo stores two strings in the same object. So we now got our summary and some remarks. Let's go and have a look to see what they actually look like when we reference them using Code Insight. So let's create initially, let's create a local variable here and we'll call this foo which is of type t foo. And here if we say foo equals t foo and using documentation insight here we can see that this is tfoo stores two strings in the same object and this is our base class for all tfoo objects and if we now go to foo.a we can see that it's a system.string that's come in by default however if we want to go and put in here uh, a public constructor And in here, let's say A equals hello and B equals world. If we go up to the initial properties, we can say here default equals hello, uh, default equals world. We can put a summary here. Uh, actually let's do a remark so let's go you can change the value but make sure you put something sensible with it. 
So here we've got a really easy to find remark. We've got a default value note that's there. And we can see here we've got uh, all the comments working through. So if we now go back here, we can see that underneath A, it comes up telling us what the default is. Uh, so if we put, uh, let's have a look at B. We can see now here we've got the, the value comments, but also the remarks. Now if we wanted to overwrite the B hyphen system dot string, then we can do that with adding a summary in. So if we come here and put in a summary, so by default this string is world. We can see lifetime here that it will overwrite that top part to whatever we've put into the documentation. Personally, I quite like leaving the, uh, the summary to show us what the system types are because um, that's quite handy. Um, but using the, the property value and the remarks to give us an enriched amount of data as we're working with our objects. So let's add a new type in here. Let's do tfoo plus, which is a class of tfoo. And let's have a public constructor, constructor create. And let's add into this a property. And we can make this published a property of um, combined which we do read get combined and we need to make that a string we we'll say here the result equals a plus b but actually what would be quite good as well is to just have a delimiter so let's have property delimiter we can have this as a, a char and control shift C again to code complete and in the constructor let's put the delimiter to let's make that a space So now we have our A plus delimiter plus B. So we're going to have hello world with the space in between. Might be a good idea to add some documentation for the delimiter. Default equals space. And we can add some comments here for returns back A plus delimit delimiter plus plus B. So if we now go and have a look through here and make this a tfoo plus so if we have a look now we can see that we've got our combined and that provides us back the information about what it is and what's going on in there. So we can do here right right line foo dot combined and then we can do foo dot b equals bob and then right line foo dot combined again and then if we do a read line just to pause everything up we should now be able to see Hello world and hello Bob. So let's run that and have a look. <laughs> 